Hello everyone. Welcome to the Soraban Abacus video tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to see what is an abacus. How it is used for calculations like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. And we are going to learn the structure of abacus and how the values are set and reset in this abacus. In the basic structure of this abacus you can see there is a frame which is having two divisions the upper part and a lower part. On the upper part you can see one bead each beam and at the lower you can see four each beams. The beads on the top area the top row it is called heaven bead and the ones at the bottom is called earth beads. There will be four earth beads in each of the rod or beam. In an abacus if all the heaven beads are moved towards the top area and if all the earthen beads are moved towards the bottom area then it is called in the reset mode or the value set in the abacus is zero which is more or less similar to a calculator with a value zero showing in it. Each of the heaven bits are having the value of fives and each of the earthen bits are having the value of units or one. And also the values of the bits depends upon the position of the rod in which it is existing. That means the value from left to right it is increasing. The rods are units, tens, hundreds, thousands etc. That means the units rod each of the earthen beads in the unit rod will be having one value each and the value of the earthen beads of the tens each will be having value 10 each when it is set. At the same time heaven beads to set it it should come down and it should be moved up to reset. Here we have an example now the abacus is set 1. The value of abacus is set to 1 by moving one earthen bead towards the top area. Now it is 1 is represented in the abacus and the moment is done in the units rod. Now the abacus is cleared by moving it down and if you move two bits towards the top then the value is 2. If all down again clear and if you move three bits from the earthen bit towards top then the value is 3. Now clear. Again to set 4, move 4 beads towards top from the earthen beads. Now for setting 5, clear the abacus by moving all the earthen beads down and move the heaven bead down to set 5. For setting 6, we have to move both beads from heaven and earth. Move the heaven bead down to set 5 and one earth bead up to set 1. Totally we will be having the value 5 plus 1, 6. And for setting 7, 5 plus 2. 5 from the top and 2 from the bottom set. Then totally 7. For 8, 5 plus 3. 5 from the top that is 1 heaven bead plus 3 more from the earthen bead and finally for 9 5 plus 4 that means for setting 9 we have to move the heaven bead down and 4 earth beads up totally 5 plus 4 we will be getting a value 9 so this is the general way of representation of values in an abacus soraban abacus and you can guess how we can set tens because the unit's rod is full by setting the value 9.
so naturally we have to move to the next rightmost beam for setting the beads on it so watch the next video for getting more lessons and videos and please subscribe the youtube channel for learning more lessons about abacus